Okay, in this presentation we are going to use the Laplace transform tables to uh, compute some inverse Laplace transforms, okay? So I have a few here to start off with. I'm going to add in a few more as I go, so I'm going to pause every so often, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is actually just get used to the Laplace transforms tables. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to just put, put it into shot here, okay? And I'm just going to hold it up to the camera a little bit closer just to actually sort of see uh, various like examples there so for example the second one one over s squared the inverse laplace transform of that is t okay so that actually gives us the first one to start off with so f of t simply is equal to t okay now for example the inverse laplace transform of 2 s squared is 2t okay and so on okay just as a remark, for all of the answers I'm going to give, t is greater than or equal to zero. You should always actually include that in your uh, answer, just to sort of just proper qualifiers like that. Now, I'm going to sort of just cut to the basics, okay? Just like inverse and the Laplace transform and the inverse Laplace transform, but you should, in your answer, you should include things like that, okay? So the next one is 4 over s cubed, okay? So what I'm going to do there is just hold that up to the camera, okay? So we have, let's look through it here. Now, I'll just give you a hint. We should be up at the top here, okay? Now, I'll just draw your attention to the third one there, t to the power of n. The inverse Laplace, the, 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 the Laplace transform is in the form n factorial over s to the power of n plus 1. Okay, so let's look at what we have here, okay? So we might be able to use that. n plus 1 is equal to 3. That means n is equal to 2. Okay. So let's just actually sort of in that shape. n factorial over s times n plus 1. That is 2 factorial over s to the power of 3, which is 2 over s to the power of 3. Okay. Now the inverse Laplace transform of that is t squared. Okay, but we are dealing with four. Okay, so I'm just going to sort of uh, so four over s cubed, therefore, must be two t squared. Okay, so it's essentially a scalar uh, uh, multiplication of the uh, Laplace transform and so on. Okay, so the next one is 6 over s squared plus 4. Okay, so what we're going to do here is just look through it again. And now, it's remember, it's plus 4 because I'll just actually draw your attention to the fact, just watch out for this, you have to be very careful with signs. The hyperbolic sign, or shine of at, is a s squared minus a squared, okay? But we are interested in sine a t, or e, uh, the Laplace transform of that is a s over s squared plus a squared, okay? So we're going to use that one there. So it just actually takes a while to just get used to the forms of these things, okay? So this is equal to 6 over s squared plus uh, 2 squared, okay? Now I'm going to sort of rewrite that as 3 times 2 over s squared plus 2 squared, okay? And here a is equal to 2, okay? And so k, uh, 3 there is essentially a scalar, okay? So essentially the inverse Laplace transform, and I'm going to start using notation more, of f of s, is simply 3 times um, sine of 2t, okay? So you can just actually just sort of look at that there. Sine a t equals a uh, over um, s squared plus a t. So if you just multiply bo both sides by 3 and let a is equal to 2, you should find that that works out. Okay. So I'm just going to pause it a second and get some more ones ready just to sort of like set up the page a bit better. Okay, so here's some more. So we have 2 over s plus 1. Okay, so let's look at the formula sheet here again. Okay, 
and essentially what I'm going to do here is look at the fourth one s plus one here we're going to let so it's a, just actually sort of let you can let a e to the at the Laplace transform of that is one over s minus a now we have plus one so essentially we let oops we let a equal to minus one okay and so e the Laplace transform of e to the minus t is 1 over s plus 1. So the Laplace transform of 2 times e to the minus t is 2, oop, 2 over s plus 1. Okay, so that is the answer there. Okay, now 6 over s minus 2 to the power of 4. Let's have a look here. Okay, well, this one looks good n factorial over s minus a times n plus 1. Okay, so n here, n plus 1 is equal to 4. That means n is equal to 3. n factorial is equal to 6. That's good. That means like it, it works out fairly easily. And here a is also equal to 2. Okay. So I'm not doing anything crazy with this one. Uh, it's just t to the power of n times e to the at. I'll actually just move it up a little bit so it's just right up there at the top. t to the power of n, e to the power of at. The Laplace transform of that is n factorial over s minus a to the power of n plus 1. Okay. So the inverse Laplace transform of that equals uh, t the power of 3 times e to the t power, uh, power of 2t. Okay, so that's grand. Now, 3s over s squared plus 9. Okay, this is a little bit of a red herring. Okay, so essentially, what I thought a little bit of a red herring, but essentially, let's go back to uh, cos at. Okay. So s uh, cos at the pass transform of that is s over s squared plus a squared. So a is going to be equal to three. Okay. Now essentially the three in the numerator is just uh, a scalar, so it's not actually part of the overall Laplace transform. Okay. So the Laplace transform of cos of three t is s over s squared plus nine, which is three squared. Okay, the Laplace transform of 3 cos 3t is simply 3 times that. Okay, that's all. Now, one more, and I think I'll finish on this one here. S, 4 over s squared minus 2. Okay, so um, it's sort of similar to the one just above. Okay. So essentially what I'm going to do is actually just look through it here and sort of see is there anything I can use. So, I mean, the nearest thing I can ha have is hyperbolic sine, okay? But you're thinking, two, that's not a square. Well, actually, yes, it is. So let's write that as four times s squared minus square root of two squared. You can actually sort of uh, look at things in that sort of general approach okay uh, what I'm also going to do is actually uh, we express 4 as 4 divided by the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 all over s squared minus square root of 2 squared okay so let's make that little square root there a little bit easier to follow okay so uh, essentially, I'm just sort of uh, factoring out uh, 4 over the square root of 2, such that it's very clearly in this form here, where a is the square root of 2. Okay, So sine of the square root of 2 times t is square root of 2 over s squared minus square root of 2 squared, which is minus 2. Okay, So the uh, Laplace transform uh, 4 over the square root of 2 times uh, shine uh, root 2 t 
equals the answer we're looking for. Okay, is equal to that. 4 over root 2 times root 2. Just what I actually written above there. Okay, so the answer we're looking for is 4 over root 2 shine of square root of 2t. Okay, that's it. So I think that's enough. Uh, that's just a sort of uh, a bit more practice on harder ones. But just to sort of start off, I think that is a good exercise.